Canada is the country in many things, many places, is the country in many races, many people. No matter where we live, no matter where our place is, Canada is waiting for you. Today we're going to learn about reported speech. We use reported speech when we're saying that other people say, think or believe. For example, he says he wants it. We think you are right. I believe he loves her. Yesterday you said you didn't like, but now you do. She told me he had asked her to marry him. I told you she was ill. We thought he was in Australia. When we are reporting things in the present, future, or present perfect, we don't change the tense. For example, he thinks he loves her. I'll tell her you are coming. He has said he would do it. When we tell people what someone has said in the past, we generally make the tense more in the past. For example, you look very nice. I told him he looked very nice. He is working in Siberia now. She told me he was working in Siberia now. Polly has bought a new car. She said Polly had bought a new car. Joe can't come for the weekend. She said Joe couldn't come for the weekend. Paul called and left a message. He told me Paul had called and had left a message. I'll give you a hand. He said he would give me a hand. However, when we were reporting something that was said in the past, but is it still true, it is not obligatory to make the things more in the past. The choice is up to the speaker. For example, the train doesn't stop here. He said that the train doesn't stop here. He said that the train didn't stop here. I like Sarah. She said she liked Sarah. She said she liked Sarah. When we're reporting what was said, we sometimes have to change other words in the sentence. We have to change the pronoun if we're reporting what someone else said. Compare these two sentences. In this case, the person is actually said, I don't want to go. For example, I said I didn't want to go. Bill said he didn't want to go. We have to change words referring to here and now. If we are reporting what was said in different place or time. Compare these two sentences. In each case, the person actually said, I'll be there at 10 tomorrow. 
He finished later the same day. We should say, he said he would be there at 10 tomorrow. If it is the next day, we should say, he said he would be there at 10 today. Now compare these two sentences. If we are in a different place, we should say, we, he said he would be there tomorrow at 10. If we are in a place he is coming to, we should say, he said he would be here at 10. Which one is the correct form of reported speech? One, I'll go out today, I'm sure. Two, she buy the shoes. That's what she said. Three, he doesn't come here tonight. Four, I said he didn't want to go. The correct answer is number four. I said he didn't want to go. I said is the reporter's speech. What does he said? He didn't want to go. Number one, I'll go out today, I'm sure, is a direct speech. Number two, she will buy the shoes. That's what she said. Is a direct speech. And number three, he doesn't come here tonight. Is a direct speech. Explore the website of Canada Smart Mind. You can join yourself learn English, French, and the Canadian immigration process. Check the links below. Make a difference. That's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you again next time.